What's up everyone, Jimmy from MTB Travel Review here. And you might have noticed that I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. Well, turns out me and my girlfriend finally, after years of planning, bought a house up north of Burlington, Vermont. So I've been doing a lot of this. Now for the longest time, it's been a dream of ours to move up to Vermont. I've been in Boston for 15 years or so, and the more I got into mountain biking, the older I get, the more introverted I become. It just didn't make a ton of sense for me to be living in a city trying to do what I do. So we fought through COVID and this big wave of everybody deciding they were gonna move. Uh, we had planned this for a long time, so we stuck to our guns, took about 13 offers, and we finally landed a beautiful house with two acres, surrounded by woods, it's got mountain views. It's an absolute dream come true. Now you might be asking why move four hours north to Vermont deep into the woods. The town that we moved to has I think around 3,800 people total population. It's not really a police station. We're definitely in the boom boondock surrounded by farms, but man, there's just something so magical about Vermont. Every time I visited here over the last five, 10 years, every time I would drive back, I would just say, why am I even leaving this place? whether it's the, the the local farm vibe whether it's just roaming around and, and having space for my dog and a beautiful house home ownership has always been a dream of mine to have more space for bikes for friends uh you know obviously the trails are a big part of that as well i don't know if you've ever ridden in vermont especially uh, you know around the northeast kingdom or, or around burlington but these trails are absolutely incredible i mean they have everything most of the trails up here start with around six to eight hundred feet of elevation it doesn't get much better. Earn your turns. All of the trails are super raw. They just feel wild. They feel like they still have that adventure in them, which is really, really special. Now with that said, uh, honestly, I don't think much is gonna change on the channel. You know, I'm, I'm in a much better position to put out amazing content and, and explore a whole new area. I really wanna focus my videos on, on helping people more and more tutorials. I still wanna obviously do the trail tours and show people around, but I'm taking a lot more time in the filming and the editing to really take my content to the next level and make some really solid footage for you guys. Now I'm here at the local trail system just down the street from my house, just did about a 900 foot climb straight up this mountain. Some beautiful views in the background. The leaves are starting to change. So let's drop in here. We got about a mile and a half down and about a thousand feet. Let's go see what we can find. As always, thank you for supporting the channel, guys. It, it means more than you know. This has become something bigger than I ever expected. It's been a ton of fun. The people I meet, the places I go, I absolutely love doing this. Granted, I do have a full-time job and I can only do so much and I'm trying to find that balance between life's adventures and, and making great content. But I planning, I'm planning to continue to, to do so. So if you're a fan of the channel, follow along on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram. Like, subscribe, and keep riding, guys. You.